the amateur adventures of, of Doctor, Doctor Who. Who. Yes, this is how it all started. Now, you were making these... Yep. ..in the 80s, in your bedroom? Well, more like a living room. OK. Mm, that's rather good. Are you all right, Doctor? Hmm? Yes, yes, Rhea. Listen, what do you get if you cross a Delton scorpion with an Ormelian dexacron? Should I know? What? No, it's a joke. Oh, very good. No, it isn't. Hello, Greg. What isn't? Life. Life isn't what, Greg? Very good. Yeah. That's weird. I haven't heard yes. any of that since, since the 1980s. Um, I'm amazed, actually, how quite good that sounds. It was Amateur City, but... My God, we learnt so quickly what we could and couldn't do. Every single person taught themselves what to do by trial and experiment. I think almost everything about the new Doctor Who happened in those 15 years that fans erroneously refer to as the wilderness years. They are the theme park years. They're full of excitement and rides and wild times and great creativity. I think it does every franchise good to lie fallow for a while. That gap allowed fans to take over from the original people that did it. We just loved it. We fell in love with the whole procedure. We had no idea, any of us, that, that it would lead to careers for any of us. It was a hobby. Doctor Who had trained up his army of writers and dramatists. Now they were ready to take him back where he belonged. The right people were there at the right time with the right degree of enthusiasm. It took them to shake it up and go, actually, this is unique, this is an amazing show, there isn't another show like this in the entire world. Let's bring it back.